Hello everyone, this is Turia from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 17th of July 2019. This is for the collective, this is for all signs. I am using messages from your Archangels, and we have Spiritual Understanding Archangel Raziel coming up here. Very powerful energy right there. I'm also using daily guidance from your angels, and I will be pulling from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle as well. I will be doing today's tarot reading with the Gilded Tarot, and at the end of your reading, I will be pulling several positive thought cards. All right, it says go for it. All right, and look at the color. Love it. All right, thank you, Spirit. What do we need to know today, Spirit? All right. Ooh, we have Raven, Shaman. Powerful energy right there. All right, thank you, Spirit. What do we need to know today, Spirit? Wednesday the 17th. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Excuse me. All right, we have the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the World, Page of Wands, Strength, the Magician. Ten of Wands and Judgment. Wow, a lot of powerful energy right here. All right, let's start here. Spiritual Understanding, Archangel Raziel. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Pay attention to your dreams, signs, symbolism, and synchronicities. It's going to be very important for you. Your angels have messages for you. They're trying to get your attention. Now we have go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone invo involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. Beautiful. Now we have the Raven Shaman. You are the creator and magician. And what's interesting is you have the magician tarot card as well. Powerful, powerful energies. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. All right. All right, so now we have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Strength card. The Five of Pentacles is the energy sometimes of a feeling of lack, maybe even a hardship, okay? Now, oftentimes this can have to do with your finances. Um, sometimes it doesn't, though. This can also maybe uh, uh, be a feeling of rejection, maybe from from someone um, in your situation or maybe feeling that somebody has rejected you in some type of way. Um, it can also mean that as well. So 
and it's a five. And oftentimes, you know, fives represent sometimes that there's challenges or obstacles that need to be worked through. So it is clarified with the strength card. This is the energy of Leo. And I love this because this tells me that you have the courageousness and the inner strength to be able to work through any hardship or feeling of lack or rejection. Okay, you have that inner wisdom, that inner knowledge within you. You know, this is you having the self-confidence. Some of you are going to break free from this feeling of lack or rejection or whatever this energy is for you. And you're going to move forward. You're going to go after what your heart's true desire is courageously. Now we have the Ten of Swords here clarified by the Magician. All right, the Ten of Swords, this is it. This is the end. This is completion. Where Whatever has been this energy of feeling stabbed in the back or uh, maybe betrayal, um, it's over. Whatever this is for you, whatever this represents to you, it's going to be different because there is so many of you watching. This is a turning point. This is you picking yourself up courageously dusting yourself off and moving forward um, some type of spiritual enlightenment has been gained I feel like through this experience right here now you have the magician clarifying this ten of swords and the ten of swords is completion now we're coming back around and we're starting with the number one here this is this new beginning and this is a powerful energy this is Gemini and Virgo this is you using laser focus and setting your intentions, manifesting, co-creating what you want and desire in your situation, in your life. You understand that you have the magic within you, the divine. You're using all the tools that are available to you. You're speaking out and using communication and, you know, Letting it be known what it is that you're manifesting and you're co-creating here. And doing so, you are the magician. You are the co-creator of your destiny. Now, here's the world clarified by the Ten of Wands. And I love this. Keep in mind as well, we have two tens, you know, right here together. And both of these are, you know, a completion of these energies. Now, the, the world is all about completion. Uh, this is about starting a new journey and maybe ending a cycle in your current situation. This is a very powerful energy, though, because this brings about a sense of fulfillment, about, you know, leaving behind whatever these energies were and starting over again now remember with the world take with you these challenging uh, experiences that you've went through in your past and gain that knowledge and that wisdom and that understanding of what you went through um, maybe about what caused these you know challenging situations it could have been circumstantial it could have been the people you are around uh, but turn this negative into a positive and take that knowledge with you into the next chapter of your life and it's going to help you the ten of wands here again completion i see the ace of wands in my mind's eye that's another one that's having a creative, a creative vision, starting anew, starting a new beginning, a new adventure. There's a need for you to let go of whatever this heavy load or heavy burden that you've been carrying around with you, okay? There's a need for that. And you're going to do it. Because we have the Page of Wands here, clarified by judgment. Page of Wands is the energy of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is you having a fresh idea, having a creative vision, 
some of you could have recently started a new project it's something that you are very excited about you have a lot of passion and desire there's even self-confidence here with this energy some of you this could be receiving news or messages uh, that are coming in about whatever this new project this creative vision is this could be a new job this could be a career change some of you could literally be moving all right is what i'm getting from spirit completely starting over again but this is a very positive energy now we have judgment here clarifying that page of wands this is a karmic situation judgment is all about going through that major transformation of endings and starting a new beginning and you transitioning into that new beginning all right and having a new outlook um, maybe seeing the world with a fresh set of you know pair of eyes and looking at things in a in a different way taking that knowledge that you've gained from your past and using it as a tool to be able to manifest what it is that you truly want and desire in your life you know thinking back about your past and the lack or maybe hardships that you've been in and being at a turning point and gaining the spiritual enlightenment this is having the rite of passage second chances to be able to move forward and having an understanding of that to take everything from your past and because we don't forget we, we don't forget things and um, we're not supposed to live in the past when we think but when you can take hardships or circumstances or situations that was really hard and maybe even negative for you and you can kind of pick those situations apart and see how you would have done things differently um, and you know go from there I hope I'm making sense here you guys um, I, I'm just there's like a spiritual alchemical process I feel like in this reading right here where you can take a hardship situation and manifest and co-create and co-create and take those energies and literally do that spiritual alchemical process and turn it into a positive so we have a spiritual understanding here Archangel Raziel I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths your mind's eye and your crown chakra is open um, make sure that you are allowing yourself to be open to receive any information your prayers and your you know positive expectations have been heard your prayers have been answered raven shaman you are the creator and the magician use your gifts for good this is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. I love that. So whatever hardships or lack or rejection, you're going to go within and pull upon that inner strength, that, that inner wisdom and knowledge, and you are going to bring yourself out of it. You're going to have this spiritual enlightenment gained with this ten of swords energy it's a turning point for you you're going to start thinking and being the magician and manifesting what it is that you want and you're wanting a new beginning a fresh start you're, you know you're on a you realize that there is a chapter that needs to be closed and there's a new chapter in your book of life to start here and that's what you're working on I feel you have the world here I feel like you're going to be able to successfully start this new chapter this new beginning because you are using all the tools and all the stuff that you've learned from past experiences and you're it's going to allow for you to drop a heavy load a heavy burden uh, you are moving forward with excitement, enthusiasm, and self-confidence right here with the Page of Wands. Some of you may be receiving word about moving or starting this new beginning. Maybe a job or a career. You have the right of passage here. I mean, this is second chances. This is beautiful. Beautiful, powerful energies here. And we have 
one, two, three, four. Four major arcana out of eight. All right, so very significant. Plus, you have the Raven Shaman here, which is saying you are the creator and the magician. And here's the magician right here. Beautiful. All right. I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. Oh my goodness, I love it. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. That's what I'm talking about right here. This is just further confirmation. I express my creativity, my unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. Yes, it is. All right. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I want to thank each and every one of you. I love all of you. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.